move to the final event of this championships, the men's four, the women's four by 100 medley relay, 34 points. Four teams in this final event, Hungary, Great Britain, Russia, Spain. World record holders are the team Great Britain. Well, Paul, this was the race for me of 2012. Across the Olympics, the Paralympics, you name it, any sport that we have to have running that year, this was the one. It was such an incredibly close race between Australia, Great Britain, the USA and Russia. Just 0.4 of a second separated the gold from fourth place. Great Britain finished with the silver. 0.03 of a second behind Australia. And this Russian team is a very similar team to the team that finished fourth. The Great Britain team is exactly the same team that set the world record last year in Montreal in Canada. Can they go faster? They are on fire. I think Great Britain could challenge the record. Hungary in three, Great Britain in four, Russia in five, Spain in six. Pap goes in the first leg for Hungary. Millward for Great Britain. Kukanova for Russia. And Costello Fari for Spain, the lower class swimmer from Spain. Spain will not be in contention in the early stages, but they will have bigger points to come later in this relay. Well, Pap from Hungary, a 10. Millward and Kukanova of Russia in the center lanes. Both S9s, so should be evenly matched. But actually, Stephanie Millwood very much taking this race out. Goes over the wall quite cleanly. And she's up, and she's doing well to be ahead of Pap, who's an S10, carrying an extra point. That's a point that the Hungarians won't be able to use later on in the race. Stephanie Millwood will hand over to Claire Cashmore for the breaststroke of Great Britain. Really is a very strong Great Britain team, Paul. All very good individually. Well, they set that world record last year in Montreal, and I think they are all going to go faster here, so we could see something special from the GB team. Stephanie Millwood and Bianca Papp coming in absolutely together there. Hungary just about getting the touch. In fact, it's all square. 112.53 for both teams in first position there. Claire Cashmore, the European champion in Bristol, is in for Great Britain. Nicolette Ratch for Hungary, just falling back into second position. Hungary have not got a very strong finishing leg. They've got a lower class swimmer, so that shouldn't bother the GB team. They'll be well aware of that. Russia going well with Vladikina in second position. And Sarai Gascon will be trying to bring Spain back into contention. But Claire Cashmore, she won the title. She shared the title with Vladikina. She is leading for Great Britain now by two and a bit seconds from Hungary. Well, Cashmore was very snappy around the wall. A really nice turn. Vladikina doing well to come back at her ever so slightly. Claire Cashmore will pass on to Stephanie Slater of Great Britain. The Russians will deploy Nina Ryabova and S10. Also an incredibly good butterflyer. Now watch as Claire Cashmore comes in here. And the swimmers will use different styles to change over. Step Slater has rocked herself right back in the block, as has Raya Boba, who now goes in. It's a good change from both teams. Stephanie Slater, that superb butterfly she's got, really buries the head, lets the water wash over the back of her body just gets that arm going round, very straight arm style, but expect Nina Ryabova to start clawing back against her. Yeah, it is Stephanie Slater. Well, Nina Ryabova, I don't think she's going to bring much of the deficit down for the Russian team because Stephanie Slater has swum extremely well at these championships already with five gold medals to her name. Another gold medal in the relay. It looks like she may be on her way to another one now. Stephanie Slater going very well for Great Britain, maintaining that lead over the Russian team from Rio Bova. Great Britain have a stronger swimmer on the final leg. That's Amy Marin. 
Bulgarians still going well. Remember, they have a lower class server on the final leg. They will be trying to hold on against the Spanish team who have Hernando Santos in, but Amy Marin is away as Stephanie Slater finishes that butterfly leg. Massive pressure on the shoulders of the 15-year-old from Great Britain. Amy Marin, however, played it very safe on the changeover and is absolutely tearing away from the rest of them now. She looks very even. We've seen this all week, doesn't allow the stump arm to just slip through the water. As she comes now into the wall, she's going to have to be quick round here if they're going to challenge for this record. It's not bad. She doesn't enters through the water quite nicely as she gets back to the surface. Well, frankly, Paul, the other teams are absolutely nowhere. It's GB versus the clock here as, he, as Amy Marin comes now into the final 25 metres. It's been a great performance, a dominating performance from the Great Britain team. The world champions are going to become the European champions. Is it going to be a world record swim to finish this competition off? Amy Marin, the world record at 446. It's just come by. Oh, Amy Marin, 446.89. Well, she couldn't quite do it, but Great Britain will take the goal by a lot. Margin. It's going to be Russia with Guseva coming in for the silver medal position. And Spain did get up into bronze medal place with Nuria Marquez Soto. Guseva brings the Russians home for silver. Marquez Soto, the Spanish for bronze. Engelhardt will bring the Hungarians back. There's Guseva. She'll be pleased with that silver medal position. But Amy Marin, it was ever so close for the GB team. The Hungarians come in to finish this European Championship swimming competition. And Great Britain have taken the final gold medal. Well, they got smiles all around. It was a very good, good show from Great Britain. Good showing from all four legs. I think possibly the record slipped away from them on their changeovers. They were very, very safe indeed. Obviously, far better to finish the race and leave with a medal and not the record than go perhaps a little bit too quickly and miss out. There's Steph, Steph, Steph Slater. After, after every race, I think she gets uh, gets cramp and has to have a bit of a hop to uh, get rid of it. That's Claire Cashmore as well. They'll be going off to do interviews in the mix zone. A happy Steph Slater, Steph Millwood. Your commitment here from Steph Slater. She has done that all week. There's Cashmore now. They took the lead from the Hungarians at that point. Claire Cashmore, what a week she has had. Her first major individual title in the breaststroke. Well, and you can see there, Paul, she was absolutely snapped around that wall. It was really, really good breaststroke turning. Amy Marin on the tumble. Well, she gets a little bit planted on the wall, could have done with being slightly quicker away. But she brings it home very nicely indeed. Aaron just coming in to the closing stages there. We thought the record may well be on at this point, but just slipping away by less than a second. 0.7 of a second it was. She, oh, she does stretch slightly for the wall at the end but it would not have made 0.7 of a second of a difference at that stage. Great Britain will win the final gold medal of these European Championships in the 4x100 metres medley relay. Britain with the gold, Russia with the silver, Spain with the bronze.